and welcome to this year's Halloween rendition of Out of the Mule and Bubble. We're your hosts, Heather Downey. Roar! David Berg. I'm Connor Baker. So, guys, Halloween is today in the middle of a week, but nonetheless still it's Halloween. Um, so what are you guys planning on being for Halloween? Um, this year I'm actually going as Michael Myers himself from the original Halloween movies. That's why his face still looks pretty intact. Unlike the new Halloween that came out this year. You saw it. I didn't see it yet. Me neither. So I guess we can't really talk about <laughs> it. But what about you, Connor? Uh, I'm going to be Captain America with, without, the, without the shield. And also for the little more of the spookier times, I'm kind of thinking of current day Eminem with, like the, with, a, with the black sweatshirt, um, hats, every, all the works. Sounds wow. like an easy costume. That's at least. just an easy costume. Yeah. <laughs> so I was planning on going with a cheetah costume. It's pretty simple. You can just wear all black. Oh, that's and, a cheetah? Well, is it a cheetah or a leopard? Comment below. But um, <laughs> so I have no idea. It's one of the above. It's whatever you want it to be, you know? Is that why you painted your nails like that? No, but it actually works really well. Who knows? Anyway, so. The biggest thing that I saw about Halloween this year is that apparently there's a petition going around that wants to move the date of Halloween from October 31st to ever, whatever the last Saturday in October is. What? So this year, this would have been October 27th. What? That is some of the most disrespectful news I've ever heard. <laughs> First of all, okay, that means Halloween could, could potentially fall on like October 25th, maybe. Right. Maybe. And that's not Halloween. Because what? We're just going to go through the rest of October thinking it's we already passed Halloween? Like that past Saturday? Yeah. Connor? I actually disagree with David. I, I apologize. Um, I kind of believe, I know a lot of trick-or-treaters do like Friday and Saturday um, of like the week, week before Halloween because Halloween is on like a, like during, during the week now. I would, I... I can understand with their petition, but if I was the business guy, at least looking looking for it, I would probably try to do it like the Friday before, in order to at least keep it mm -hmm. keep it similar, keep similar days throughout. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's not necessarily a bad argument, although it does ruin like the nostalgia of Halloween. October thirty um, first, that's Halloween. We can't yeah, change it. Sorry. Although, because Halloween is one of the most celebrated holidays in the United States, because oh, it. um, it's the most affordable holiday if you think about it because you don't have to like buy a big meal and things like that. Just so it's easier, bag, you just gotta, bag of candy. you know, and you can do a lot of make your own costumes and yeah. things like that. So like, what's your guys' favorite candy? Ooh, I love Reese's, um, they're a classic. Reese's? Reese's. You mean Reese's? Reese's. Okay, whatever. Okay, sorry. Well, I'm glad we know what you're talking about. <laughs> I like Reese's peanut butter cups. Um, they're just delicious, how about you? Question though, do you like the Reese's peanut butter cups or like the Reese's like little little I, pieces? I like the Reese's pieces. I respect them, but <laughs> Reese's Reese's pieces. But I love the peanut butter cups. How about you? I'm I'm like the classic almond joy and the butterfinger. Back mm. back when I used to trick or treat when I was a ye little old ye little old. young child. <laughs> <laughs> um, we used to my family. We used to do like a candy bracket where we would spread out all the candy that we got and we kind of did a tournament to see which candy would be like the best type of candy. It would usually end up being like a chocolate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because I prefer like the chocolate candies for some reason more than the um Yeah, because lo everyone candy. loves loves chocolate, I think. Well, if you don't like chocolate, sorry if that's offensive, but we all love chocolate we here. We love chocolate here. My favorite candy is Twix. Twix. Ooh. Yeah, I like Twix a lot. I also like any chocolate really but yeah. but you know something we did do is that we went out into the hall out of the Muhlenberg bubble mm -hmm. into the hallways of Prosser and asked Muhlenberg students their thoughts on their favorite candy and other Halloween related questions let's go take a look seeing people dressed up Definitely dressing up. And the candy. Actually, the candy. The candy? Probably watch movies. Probably movies. Dressing up. Spooky movies and spooky pranks. A 
vampire. Doctor Strange from the Doctor Strange movie. <laughs> I haven't really figured it out yet. <laughs> it's like two days away. <laughs> Sexy Thanos. Uh, I'm gonna be a hula girl with my friend Maddie. Thanks, Maddie and Maggie, for making that segment um, for us to show on NBC. So now back into it. What has been like your favorite costume you've ever dressed up in? Um, you know, I used to go as Scream a lot. You know, the, the white long mask. Hmm. Do you know? Do you know what I'm yeah, talking about? Everyone yeah, everyone used to do that when I was in elementary. <laughs> yeah, I mean that was a classic. Uh, you know, I like the make your own costumes. I did that for a couple of years. You know, but I'm really digging this Michael Myers mask this year. Uh, it's the first time I ever got like an official mask of a Halloween movie. Hmm. Last year, for a, um, I, I partook in like an unhaunted house thing for like very little kids. And my mom, shout out to you, um, she created a Crayola costume, which basically it was a neon yellow shirt with like neon yellow shorts, and it had like the words Crayola. And then she created a almost like a paper, a paper cone on top of it to signify it was a crayon. Nice. That's a good one. How about you, Heather? We love homemade costumes. What's my, your favorite? Well, when I was younger, my mom used to make me every year, I don't know if you guys would know about this, but there was American Girl dolls, mm -hmm. and my mom would make me the costume of like my favorite American Girl doll that year. Wow. And so I would have the matching outfit to my doll, and that was all the rage when wow. I was in like first grade. You carry your doll grade. with you? Yeah, okay. of course. Of course. I'll okay. probably have to Sorry, do it. bad question. So, because my mom is a very talented seamstress, so she would make my costumes for me. But I would say in recent years, I like going as a unicorn. As you may have seen in our Halloween Chew Street, if you haven't watched it yet, make sure you hit, uh, hit that up. But so. Where do you think the best candy is being served in Allentown this year. <laughs> I don't know. I actually, since I am in college now, I actually don't know where to, I haven't been trick-or-treating, but. Yeah, actually, um, Allentown did trick-or-treating on Friday, which was a little earlier than I thought. So maybe they're on board with this whole new date for Halloween. Yeah, so thing. maybe they're on board. Allentown typically actually does Halloween the last couple of years before the actual date of Halloween. Right. For trick-or-treating. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It would usually always be at least from my experience, the best type of candy to get was always at the house with like, it was either really rich or like th the house that would be least surprising. I remember a couple houses would sometimes have like the big like- Full size candy bars? Yeah. Big size. We love those. Those were so, that's what the, and you like memorized which house it was. Oh yeah. And yeah, you would Matt. go back to that house every year, <laughs> but then they would give toothbrushes the next year. Wow. Not talking that, from experience. That not sounds at all. like a very specific experience. <laughs> No. I mean, it just gave um, you a toothbrush. Yeah, but is Halloween <laughs> your favorite holiday? Absolutely. I mean, nothing really, you know, it's like fun about having Halloween on the 31st. It's like this whole month is just leading up to it. And, you know, like Thanksgiving and Christmas, they're also at the end. But, like, Halloween's on the 34th. 34th? <laughs> so it's really just like a gradual lead up. And it's then the whole month we're up here. until. It's today. And then it's November. And then it's. November. Right. I don't like that part, but I definitely <laughs> like the actual Halloween. I like scaring people, you know, as demonstrated earlier. Clearly. <laughs> but is Halloween your favorite holiday, Connor? Um, first, first off, I'm my heart's still beating afterwards. I'm I am not a big <laughs> fan of scary movies. I have, trust me, even even the simp simplest things like I I have to turn away whenever I see like a scary ad on TV because I'm worried that it's actually going to be real. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I will say this, um, and this is a prediction right here on NBC, Black Friday, which for some reason keeps like moving up like every chance we get, I have a feeling that's going to be at like the start of November or it's going to be like the entire month of no November. For this year or like in the future? In the future. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it's an interesting prediction. I can get behind that only because uh, I love Christmas and... Basically, I'm waiting for today to be over whoa, whoa, to start whoa, celebrating whoa, whoa. Christmas. Is Halloween your favorite holiday? It doesn't sound like it. No, but I like 
the only way I celebrate Halloween is like on NBC, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, do you even like horror movies? No, I don't like being scared. I'm just like Connor. So, I don't like being scared. So, you got, so there's no reason to even talk about horror movies then. What's your favorite horror movie? Do you have one? I don't even know the name of a horror movie. That's a bad start. Um, Do you have a horror movie? The Great... The Great Pumpkin Patch, Charlie Brown. It's, um, I like that one, too, because it's not scary. Yes, The Great Pumpkin is great. It is from 1966, actually. Or 68, maybe. But, you know, it is animated. 22 minutes, not scary enough, some critics may say. Well... We hope that this Halloween you're not too scared. Or um, spooked out. Or spooked out. But that's all the time we have for this year uh, for Halloween. And so we hope that you have a great holiday and Merry Christmas. We're your host. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. We're your host, Heather Downey. David Berg. Connor Baker as Captain America. And happy Halloween.